the problem, but you can call me the can man. BoxingVoice.com, Victor Salazar here with Mr. Delvin Rodriguez. Mr. Rodriguez, how are we doing today? All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh, first off, I want to congratulate you on your Ali Frazier Fighter of the Year Award. Talk about that award or what it means to you. Man, I think it's a great honor, you know, uh, being part of uh, such an important event. And, you know, not just that, but, uh, you know, to get the award, you gotta, you got to have a great fight like we did. Me and Paul Wallach, we had a fight that uh, the fans, they enjoyed it. And they're still talking about it. So it's something really, really good for me. Uh, it makes me feel very excited because that's what we do. You know, we train hard. We, we are the athletes that we are just so we can give the fan what they want to see. And I believe that night, they got their money worth, man. Wow. Everyone on ESPN saw that fight. It got my money's worth. It got any, everyone's money's worth. Uh, obviously, you got the rematch with Paul Wall. You beat Paul Wall in the uh, Cotto Margarita undercard at Madison Square Garden. Tell us how that felt fighting in front of that big crowd. It was great, you know, it was a great opportunity. Uh, it was an opportunity to show myself, uh, to, um, you know, show the fans. I was coming up to 154, you know, uh, at 147, I was not the same fighter. So, you know, every ex fans, you know, when, when you lose a fight, they expect an excuse. And, you know, it, it might have sounded like I was, I was just put, getting an excuse to saying that I was not the same fighter at 147. So, you know, stepping up to 154 and giving me the opportunity to fight one of the toughest guys in the division and show. What I, did, what I showed, you know, that night beating Paul Wallach, I think it was a great opportunity to finally, you know, uh, come clear and let the fans know that I was uh, a great 154. So, you know, I got to be thankful to that opportunity. Now, you obviously fought last weekend against uh, Austin No Doubt Trout. Can you tell us about that performance and how you would fix things if you had another go around about that? Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, fi uh, fight fans, people that know boxing, they know that style makes fights, you know. Uh, not, not taking anything away from the from the champion, from Austin Trout, he's the champion. But you know, I don't think he came to. He didn't come to fight that night. You know, he's a guy that really concentrated on defense, and a very awkward lefty left hand guy that you know, all he thought was just you know moving away every time I try to come in and, and, and put my combination together. Uh, he was away. You know, he was moving away. So it made a boring fight. To be honest with you, you know, it's sad for me to say, and and, and I say I'm very upset about it because. I like to give the fans what they want, you know, what they expect. A good fight, a great fight. You know, I'm a warrior on top of the ring, you know, and I, and I always love to fight. But, uh, you know, Austin Tarrar, he didn't come to fight. He was uh, concentrating more on defense and more on moving around, stepping away from me. And uh, I think that that made an ugly fight. You know, made a boring fight for the fans. Do you think if you were to apply more pressure in that fight, the outcome would have been a little different like you did in the last, you know, minute or so of the 12th round? Well, you know, you can't just apply pressure in a, in a, in a dumb way, you know. Uh, if I would have just rushed in, he could probably go to caught me with a, with, a, with a stupid punch. Well, you know, and that's, I didn't want that to happen. So, you know, you, I, I applied pressure in a way where I didn't want to get uh, caught with any stupid punches. And, uh, but like I say, every time I tried to go in there and fight, the guy was running away. You know, he was, he was, uh, he felt right. He felt just, you know, he felt that it was enough for him to just throw a jab and, and move away. You know, he didn't want to fight. He didn't want to, you know, make it a fight make it an uh, entertaining fight for the fans. So, you know, if he feels good about that, you know, uh, I say I'm upset. I'm very sad about it because I like to give the fans what they, what they want to see, what they expect. Do you think that performance warrants him a shot to fight Canelo Alvarez? Not at all. You'll see that he's not gonna, definitely not going to get the shot to fight Canelo Alvarez. You know, um, he didn't do enough. He didn't show enough. You know, we both were out of rhythm. You know, that's one thing I can say, you know, uh, style makes fights. We, uh, he's an le awkward left-handed guy that just is more concentrated on defense. So uh, we made an ugly fight. You know, to be honest with you, no excuse, ugly fight. You know, and uh, he, uh, I don't think he's going to get the shot at all because, like I say, he was more concentrated on, on defense and moving around, not fighting. Now, obviously, we're here to celebrate you. Uh, you're probably in celebration mode right now, but what are your next steps after this fight with Trout? You know, I got good feelings that, you know, good things are going to happen. You know, good fights are going to happen. It's, uh, this division, 154 division, is very hot right now. A lot of good fighters out there. A lot of good opportunities. And, you know, we just go back to the drawing board, you know, this week and talking to the, promo the promoter and see what's on next online. You know, we want to fight the guys that are, that are top. We don't want to go back. We want to go forward, you know. And uh, I believe the fans know. The fan knows that I'm a warrior and that, uh, you know, I had a very off night, uh, different styles, best style, but, you know. And uh, that's what made a boring fight. But uh, they know that uh, that's not the type of fighter I am. They know that uh, I'm still here. And I'm still got a lot of exciting fight in, uh, in me. 
So I'm, I'm hoping that I get the, the opportunity to fight the top guys. You have five fans. Delvin Rodriguez, he's not done yet. Congratulations again, Thank Mr. You, Rodriguez. Thank you, man. BoxingVoice.com. You never give me a fair shake. HBO needs to fire you. You don't know shit about boxing. You ain't shit. You're, you're not shit. I wish I was 50 years younger and I'd kick your ass.